Schooner's Trace is a four mile long trail located in Brown County State Park. This is one of the most accessible trails I've ever ridden, so you don't have to pack too heavy because you're never too far from an exit point. This trail is designed with an entrance that gives you a pretty good indication of what the rest of the trail is gonna be like. So crawl into this first thing, because I'm telling you, these rocks are some of the slipperiest things I've ever ridden in my life. After that, you're just gonna cruise on some bench cut single track. You'll climb for a little bit and you'll descend for a little bit. And the main tip I can give you for this stuff is square up any of these rock faces because they're very slippery. After a nice warm up, you'll hit this first technical section that has a rock wall at the bottom and then a ton of exposed roots. Running a little bit of lower tire pressure than normal and staying as smooth as you can on the pedals will help you get through here. The thing that I like about Schooner's Trace is for every technical section, there's a chance to open it up. So you'll have a chance to do that before you head into this next section, which is the slipperiest part of the entire trail. Square this thing up as straight as possible and try to hold that line straight. This thing is in a creek bed, so it's gonna be wet year round. So you really wanna crawl through there and be careful. I'm 6'4", so I barely squeeze through these trees. And then afterwards, you're just gonna ride this bench cut section up and along the ridge. These higher speed sections of Schooner's Trace gives it the variety that I love. And then you come into one of my favorite turns on the whole trail. It gives you a nice chance to do a 180 nose wheelie, and then that'll spit you out into some ladder bridge stream crossings. After that, take a chance to catch your breath because you're gonna be heading into some hill climbs. Once you cross the ladder bridges, try to get your composure a little bit because you're gonna be heading into a hill climb. It's not too long, but it's pretty steep. And as you can see, your watts go pretty high. The best tip I can give you for this is easy does it. I've hit this thing and tried really hard and flipped into the ditch on my right. And when I've hit it nice and smooth and just try to use momentum to get up, it's usually worked out the best. After a couple minutes of climbing, you're gonna hit the second most slippery section of this entire trail, but this time it's on an uphill. So I like to do this stuff seated so I can get the best traction possible. You can see my tires are caked with mud, but it still has more traction than the slippery algae covered rocks. So I just aim for dirt, stay seated, keep my pedals turning and try to hope for the best to make it through this section. Just like the rest of Schooner's Trace, Every technical section gives you a chance to open it up afterwards. So enjoy that. There's some fun log ride overs. That's gonna head into this next section. It doesn't really look like much on the surface, but all these rocks are really smooth and really slick. So try to just carry momentum through there. Don't make any sudden moves and it'll get you through that section clean. You're gonna cross a paved road and head into this last final downhill section. It's super fast and super flowy. There's lots of jumps and you're riding in a canopy of trees. It's really fun, so enjoy yourself because you're about to head into the most technical section of this entire trail. This is the reason why Schooner's Trace is considered unrideable by a lot of people. There's gnarly roots everywhere, rocks with no traction, and it's super steep. As you can see, the handlebars are in my chest the entire time because I'm doing anything I can to keep the front end down. There's also no traction, so I'm trying to keep my tires on dirt versus rocks and roots, and I don't have momentum, so I have to hook my front tire there. I'm getting set to be extra cautious because this is the first time I've ever made it this far on this climb and you just watched me clean that section from start to finish for the first time ever. There's no time to celebrate because you still have some more trail left. So I like to bust a 180 there, put it in a medium gear, keep some speed, take a wide line, and pedal through this last armored section of rock. If you've made it this far and you're still in one piece, it's definitely time to high five your buddies because you just cleared Schooner's Trace.